it's one thing to say that the guy who has been associated with Republican politics his whole life, his father's a Republican operative, who dines with Republican presidents, who advises sitting Republican presidents, who has the highest rated show on the um, on, on cable news, a conservative Republican network, almost almost indistinguishable as a media outlet for the Republican Party. It's one thing to say there is no analog to any violence that takes place from so-called leftists where they have that type of institutional support. But he's, again, it's not like he's a Republican elected official. It's not like he's Steve Scalise, who is the number two Republican who once walked into a room and said, I'm David Duke without the luggage or baggage. And it's also not like he's the number three House Republican, Elise Stefanik, who has um, promoted replacement theory as well. Well, don't be, we, we got to be fair to her, right? She must have an explanation for it. Maybe she didn't mean to explicitly promote replacement theory although radical democrats are planning their most aggressive move yet a permanent election insurrection what is a permanent election insurrection now let's just be clear here so that you can just see i mean because i know some of this is a little bit uh, 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 uh remedial but an election insurrection is when the election is over and you're attempting to overturn the results of an election. It's not like coercing the <laughs> it's not getting more voters to vote in a certain way. That's called an election. It's a preemptive insurrection. Their plan grant amnesty to 11 million illegal immigrants. Also, you should know. The greatest the greatest one-time amnesty that was ever granted in this country's history was done by Ronald Reagan. Until Donald Trump, the most popular Republican president amongst Republicans in the history of the country. Just to say, like, you know, the, even the theory that granting amnesty would uh, necessarily be something that was contrary to the interests of Republican Party or Democratic Party over Republicans. Now, putting that aside, there is, sadly, in my estimation, no plans whatsoever to grant uh, 11 million people amnesty. So that's also a lie. But even if it wasn't, continue. Oh, I'm sorry. Grant well, amnesty to 11 million illegal immigrants will overthrow our current electorate. Now, what is it? What is it like? These words are not they, they are misusing these words. There is no way when you talk about adding people, adding immigrants into this country that you're overthrowing an electorate. You can't overthrow an electorate. That word does not make sense in that sentence sentence. It is a it is a conscious attempt to mimic the construction of the idea of the re great replacement theory. That's what it is. That it is a conscious attempt to do that. C overthrow our current electorate, in other words, replace our current electorate and create a permanent liberal majority in Washington. She is saying this is the great replacement theory. And she is the number three Republican in the Republican Party in terms of elected leaders, at least in the House. And then we should also add, just four days ago, just to give you a sense of like what the, the, the sort of like where we're at with the Republican Party. And that quest for a strong, sensible Republican Party of yesteryear. Right. And she was the great white hope, too, for that, right? When she first came in. That was like her whole thing.
Wasn't she anti-Trump? Oh, yeah. yeah. She, yeah. Was, she was like a moderate, like, problem-solver-ish person initially. Yeah. yeah. Well, to be fair, that was almost four whole years ago. And with adults, anything could happen over the course of four years. My, 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 set, my nine-year-old son is similar to where he was uh, when he was five than when she was uh, four years ago. The White House, she tweets, House Dems and usual pedo grifters are so out of touch with the American people then rather than president any plan or urgency to address the nationwide baby formula crisis, they doubled down on sending pallets of formula to the southern border. Joe Biden has no plan. The White House, House Democrats, and usual pedo grifters. Now, they're out of touch with Americans. They don't present any plan. So we know that these pedo grifters are supposed to present a plan and have urgency to address the nationwide baby formula crisis. She is talking about Democratic, maybe lawmakers, maybe policy people. Who else would you expect to do that? Who is she talking to? Who is she talking to? And let's find out who she's talking about. We, we, we have an explanation from her... Um, for uh who is it what, what is the name so of the this is an audio posted by parker malloy of a journalist calling one of uh, her staffers and her staffer tries to give an explanation here so she she tweeted again she said the white house house dems and usual pedo grifters now you know you sort of start you sort of start the conversation pretty bad when you say the White House, House Dems, and usual pedo grifters. Who are the usual pedo yep, so, grifters? So, so I, I don't mean to cut you off. I, I, I wanted because we've got a few phone calls about this. Uh, first off, is this is her personal Twitter? Just have to note that. Um, and number two, uh, pause it. Pedo pause it. is not pause short it. for what? pedo. This is her personal Twitter. What the f? They're is meaning that it, it was not tweeted from like the representative uh, Stefanik account. Uh, it was just her like regular yeah. blog. She's Sam's mom, and she's also the congresswoman from New York Twenty One. Yeah, and oh, uh, the House GOP conference chair. Oh, and new ideas, new generation of leadership, real results electing GOP women. I'm just like that's what's on her personal thing. This yeah. is not like, this is not like her sock puppet yeah. account. Like, she hey, has, it's Bill four five seven eight nine. She has half a million followers. That is because of her uh, elected office. Yeah. it's not because of Sam's mom. Okay. First off, is this is her personal Twitter? Just have to note that. Um, and number two. Uh, Pedo is not short for pedophile. It is pedo as in children. Um, pedo is a, it's a it, it, if you look it up on yeah, Google, yeah, it, I know it, what the word means. it exactly defines to child. Um, so these are people who are grifting so, their children? How, how are they grifting uh, children? Or are they childs, their children who are grifting? No, not children who are grifting. <laughs> they're not, people they're are grifting on behalf grifting. of children. They're grifting on behalf of children. And she thought that the, Correct. the way to say that people who are grifting on all right, behalf all right, pause of it, children. Pause it, pause it, pause it. How does well, one grift on behalf of children? Let's go back to the original yeah. uh, tweet. Right. What does it mean to grift on behalf of children? Do we have that video? I think we may have figured out who's grifting on behalf of children. Uh, we did some research. This is... Um, this is the Project guy. Project Veritas footage. This right. is yeah. This is Project Veritas. We we sent in a someone to go and talk to a guy known as the Artful Dodger, <laughs> who apparently does some grifting on behalf of children. Play this. Hinting out among me more intimate friends is the Artful Dodger. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dodger. Show the old gentleman my mind. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we've got it. <laughs> I'm glad. Man, that, I just want, I'm trying to come out. I'm this glad Stefanik is, so, Fanic is that's finally a pedo grifter. Yeah, but <laughs> going after this crook. This grifter on behalf of children, again, in the original tweet, we're to believe, is supposed to come up with a plan to address baby formula. No, it's just, she's just <clears throat> targeting dance moms. There's a little bit more. I wonder you got to you go back and you uh, you go back and and check with all the babies. Like you're like you're reporting back to boss baby. We've got we're gonna we're running the grift. I can't. It's a let's keep playing the audio. This is absurd. 
how are they grifting and, children or are they childs they're children who are grifting no not children who are grifting so saying not, that people are grifting on behalf grifting. of children they're grifting on behalf of children and she thought that the, correct the way to say that people who are grifting on behalf of children which who i don't really understand how who's who's grifting her how, how is there a grift involved in any of this like what's what's the grift here well, I, I, I really can't analyze it for you just because I, I haven't gotten a statement on it. Um, again, this is her personal Twitter account. Sure. I'm just giving you the definitions because we've received a lot of calls for clarification. That, I'm just kind of clarifying that what seems, that means. That's, yeah. Um, how Elise Stefanik could be allowed onto a news program where the interviewer doesn't start with like i've got to ask you this because there's never been an actual explanation can you explain to me again the grifting on behalf of children or what has she said now have they come out with a correction on this now they say it's it was uh talking about pedophile grifters specifically the uh guy with the lincoln project that got into trouble so now they're saying the Lincoln Project. Okay, okay, that makes much more sense. Put Can up the put, original yeah, tweet the up. and let's 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 figure this out. We'll we'll substitute um, the White House, House Democrats, and that guy from the uh, Lincoln Project are so out of touch with the American people that rather than present any plan, the White House, House Democrats, and the guy from the Lincoln Project or the urgency to address the nationwide baby formula crisis, which is of course the job of the White House, House Dems, and the guy from the Lincoln Project. They double down on sending pallets of formula to the southern border, which of course the White House, the House Democrats, and the guy from the Lincoln Project did. They sent down those pallets. Is that what we're supposed to believe? Is that what we're supposed to believe? I mean, it seems like a bit of a stretch. Seems like she might just be smearing all of her political opponents as pedo grifters. Yes, that seems to be the more likely explanation. Yeah. Oh, wait. And that reminds me of the time that Tucker Carlson said just, you know, 25 minutes ago when we played that clip on this, that the idea of an elected official saying that they see Republicans as being a threat to democracy is the worst pronouncement we've ever heard by a politician rwanda all over again as opposed to calling them pedo grifters yeah. which incidentally should not be heard in a vacuum but rather as the animating the animating villains of the base of the republican party starting with pizzagate which took place five years ago through the entire QAnon. So this is not just like, you know. They tested that on the state level. They tested that with uh, uh, the, the uh, Michigan State Senator Mallory McMorrow. Um, that was uh, the state representative was fundraising, calling her, you know, a pedophile or pedophile uh, adjacent. A, a groomer. Right, yeah. a groomer. I mean, they've been doing this on the state level and like, the you know, she wants a little bit of that. Uh, she wants to borrow a bit from it. And then she got called out. That's, that's, that's what it is.